your boy Bosco back again here at WSS. I had a request to come back here and grab something, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Hopefully they got the size we need. They still have the Flight 89 here for 129 in both of the colorways that we saw last time. Not sure if you guys saw the video, but these were here. Along with all these dope colorways of the LeBron Witness 8. And this is actually one of the newest colorways. Still here, 110 for the full retail. They got a good selection of colorways. And now we have something else new here, which are dope. Two new colorways of the Immortality 3. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. University red and white. Definitely clean, 89 bucks in the retail for these. I was definitely surprised to see this one. And it's also dope that the budget model gets a All-Star Weekend bid. This is the All-Star Weekend Immortality 3. These jackets right here are pretty dope. Some Nike like Letterman jackets. Retail is 225 on them. Will we see these at Ross like in six months? These are definitely dope. The red one, the black one is pretty solid as well. Nothing on the book, I got some Nike on the back. Let me know those two jackets, which one, which one do you guys like more? So here's the first look at the Nike Giannis Immortality 3 All-Star Weekend. This one's definitely dope. So you've seen that on display already, the red and white colorway. Can never go wrong with that, all white with the red trim. But then look at this other shoe, which I think is also dope. And like I said before, man, it's just dope that they did this on a budget model shoe. So a budget model shoe gets treatment like a silhouette would or uh, a signature shoe, which I guess this is still his signature shoe, but... Uh, just the budget model, red and white. You got the white and red laces. Any 3M on here? No 3M, but white and red laces to go with the white and red shoe. Can't go wrong with that, man. Thanks for sharing detail on the back. Now we got four colorways of the Immortality 3. Let me know which colorway you guys like the most. And we've seen these around. It's like the Alphabet Boys. I'm not sure what this one's called. They all retail for 90 bucks, but all the colorways are definitely solid. I like this black, gray, and white one, or black, gray, and red colorway. Can't go wrong with that. Probably the second most popular colorway, in my opinion, for the Immortality 3. Very dope. Color combinations on point for these, for sure. Then we got the Alphabet Boys. There's also a Zoom Freak 5 with this same makeup and color scheme. Let me know what you guys think about these. Now, personally, I came back for this shoe right here, man. They don't have it in my size, unfortunately. There is no size 13. The biggest I'm seeing is a size 12, so maybe somebody scooped a 13 already. But this one is truly on point. Let me know if you guys like that or am I tripping? I mean, you like what you like, I like what I like. But this colorway is nice. The midsole give on this too, so there is some cushioning. But they got three colorways that are definitely solid. All three of these colorways are solid, but I definitely like this one the most, man. Hopefully at some point we can find this maybe at the outlet in a size 13. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Nike Run Swift 3, another one of them budget model sneakers that got a pretty good look to them. Only 79 bucks in the retail for these. Definitely seen this style for the Blazer, but don't remember seeing this actual colorway, 114 on the retail. Let me know if you guys are feeling these Blazers or not. All black with the blue and white accents on this one. Not a bad colorway for the Air Max 270s. Got a triple white Cortez. Some good leather on the materials. 110. Not mad at this color combination. That's Air Force One. Different type of materials used. Got a basketball material and some leather. 125 on the retail. Definitely gives off USA vibes. Still got these here. 99 bucks in case you guys are interested. For the reverse Laney, size uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and nine and a half. Got the back wall real quick. Still got those Iversons, the Air Max 90s, those shacks over here too. 69 bucks on those. Oh, they got some Kyrie fly traps here. Smaller size, size seven, 49 bucks on those. And they do have the blazers I picked up from Shoe Palace for 39 bucks. I got them here for 69. A new color combination on this Legacy right here. The Legacy 312 Low, 149 on the retail. You got the white black with the cell, the cement on there too. This is like a combination of two of the colorways into one. But these two combinations is what makes up that 312 Legacy we just saw earlier in the men's sizing. Not a bad color combination, just kind of different. Definitely a solid Luca 2 colorway. The one that he's gonna wear during the All-Star game is definitely solid as well. We talked about that on Bosco 2.0, but what do you guys think about the Black Cement Jordan Luca 2? It's still one of the best colorways of this LeBron 21. The Conkylin, this Air Max 90 was definitely a solid colorway. Let me know if you guys are feeling these. 
the gum outsole right there. And this Air Max 90 was also pretty solid as well. But let me go ahead and show you guys what we came back for. Before we get back into the content, I wanted to let you guys know about my website, BoscosGoodies.com, which is a place that you can find a lot of things that I come across in these stores. I got stuff from hats, jerseys, shoes, and accessories, along with some collectibles. So make sure you guys check out BoscosGoodies.com. Let's get back to the content. We came back for these. WSS has had them for like a week or two, maybe like a week. They don't release technically or originally or officially till the uh, 8th of February. It's currently the 2nd. Uh, somebody asked me to come back and see if they had the size. So let's go ahead and scoop them up. And then there was one other shoe that I was interested in for myself, but um, let's go see what's good. These Pumas look dope. I like the color combination on them. They got translucent also as well. Never seen that model before. Got some blue blazers here, nine and a half for 49 bucks. Some more of those other colorways that we've seen. Six rings and the cool gray colorway as well. 69 bucks for those. Just checking out the back water to see if there was anything here. The flight light mid here. I think we saw this last time. Size 11 and a half for 99 bucks for those. 99 bucks. We've seen those for 39 bucks. Last time this box was here for 84 bucks. They got the Jordan 37s. And like the Bordeaux colorway. Good to see they got the full box. They usually don't put full boxes on the back, just like the outlets, but they got some of these 38s here. Only 84 bucks. Prestos, dope colorway. Hirachis. Other than that, everything else we did see here before. No, they don't have the blue ones. No, they don't have the blue ones. What size is this though? Men's size 12, 29 bucks. This would be a personal if it was a 13. The blue ones are hard to find, bro. And I know these are true to size. They don't fit my size 13. That's unfortunate. I still want to just try it on and see if I can fit a 12 inch, but I'm pretty sure I can't. 30 bucks? Let's see if we can fit a size 12. Oh no, we might be able to do it. <laughs> Well, it's a snug ass fit though. And you're not supposed to have your crock where your foot kind of pokes up. The you see that? Yeah, these are too small. Damn, I would love to find these in a size 13. Maybe next time. Some of their crocs are 49 bucks or 54 bucks. So to find them for that price of 29 bucks is a steal, but why could they not be a size 13? Now I'm gonna be looking for that, bro. A size 13 in the blue crocs for the personal. I know they do resell well online. But I'm looking for a pair for the personal now. And they got the Lucas here too. Bigger size. Size 11 and a half for 64 bucks. We saw the black and white colorway last time. Definitely a solid looking basketball shoe right here. The Playmaker Pro Mid. I can hear for the Bulls fans out there. 250 on this one. Letterman jackets go hard, right? Good, good theme and got some weight to them, but. 225 or 250 a little bit too much right now one's pretty solid as well heavy duty 250 as well on those we got another location with the all suede cortezes in men's size last time i saw them they were grade school sizing three solid recent releases from the mids to both of the ones Just nobody cares about these two right here man but a couple years down the road people gonna wish they scooped them up so we got three recent colorways of the Cosmic Unity 3. All of them are very unique in their own right. Which one do you guys like the most? This is like the newest colorway that I found of the Cosmic Unity 3 here at WSS. Not a bad color combination on these. Definitely give me like a spring summer vibe. Then we got one of my favorite ones, even though it's more subtle, just black and white with that heather gray. I just like how it all sits together. The uppers look definitely impressive. Did a review on this shoe right here, true to size fit. Definitely good for indoors and outdoors for sure. And I think this one right here really says something about the shoe and the silhouette all together. Just the different color tones and colorways that came with the shoe. 119 on a retail for this one. Let me know if this is a colorway that you would add to your collection. And of the three Cosmic Unity 3s right here, which one do you guys like the most? Comment down below. Could be wrong, but I feel like this is a new colorway for the ladies of the Air Max 270. A million and one colorway, so it's hard to keep up, but I just feel like this is something new. So we are back at the crib now with the shoe from WSS. Shout out to WSS. They actually had these out a little earlier in one of my recent videos, like last week or something, we were able to find these. They originally don't or technically don't release to everyone until the 8th of February. So it's dope to always find some shoes early 
And let's take a closer look at these, the LeBron 21 Aragonite, because this is definitely a fire colorway. And it seems like with the LeBron 21s, they just keep getting better and better. Am I, am I lying? Am I mistaken? Or do you guys feel like the colorways have not been good? I think the Kylan, uh, the Ablon Pearl, uh, this one here, a lot of them are just on point. The LeBron 21 so far has been magnifique. Let me know if you guys agree with that. But let's take a closer look at the LeBron 21 Aragonite. Truly, truly one of the best colorways, man. I don't know how many more colorways they got dropping of this LeBron 21, but I'm telling you, man, they're, they're knocking it out the park. I think the 20 and 21 definitely saved this line. I said it once, I'll say it again. But we got the LeBron 21 Aragonite right here. Box is still the same. Ain't nothing different when it comes to the box, but this box is bigger. Some LeBrons have definitely still hit the outlets every now and then, you know, but more people are scooping them up and grabbing them and keeping them as opposed to uh, not. This is, these right here are something else. Truly one of his best and the materials they use. Sometimes people don't use it right on the shoes, but I think they totally did a good job with this one right here, man. LeBron 21 Aragonite. Let me take the other one out the box really quick. Here they go, man. In hand. I don't know, man. I felt like the midsole was a little different color. It's not white like I originally thought it was. You got that denim material on the upper. These are truly impressive, man. Whew. Let me go ahead and what's the color scheme? These come in a jade ice and terra blush color scheme, but you see a lot more going on with it, man. The accents, the eyelids, the dubre, gold. They executed this one perfectly. We're gonna get some, of course, some up close and personal visuals for these. You got the denim with some um, like distressed look, a little distressed look to the denim upper, but it's not too much. You know, we definitely, like I said, talked about these before on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, some people are feeling these. Some people are not. I need to know what you guys think. Are you more of a fan of this denim upper or should they have not done that? Some people didn't like the distress look of the denim. I think that adds style and character. But this one is definitely executed great. I don't want to keep repeating myself. But from a 1 to 10 scale, this might even be a 10, man. The Kylan Fire, the Oblong Pearl is dope. He got so many colorways of the 21s that are definitely impressive. It's unfortunate that they're 200 bucks because it's hard to grab everything. I'm not trying to pay 200, 220 for every damn LeBron 20 that comes out. You know what I mean? So hopefully we can find this one or other colorways at the outlet soon under retail price. There are a couple LeBron 20s that are 99 bucks right now, but I've been finding those more at Shoe Palace. So if you're somewhere who has a Shoe Palace location and you want a LeBron 21, Maybe go check out one of their locations and maybe they got them on sale for you also. But we've seen plenty of times in my past videos uh, that LeBron 21s be marked down to 99 bucks, maybe 150 or 170. So just be on the lookout if you don't want to pay the full retail price for them. Uh, we had to grab them because it's early. I want to do my review and get my details and thoughts out about this shoe. This is definitely crazy. Stay tuned for a full detail review with the on feet and maybe even some lace swapping. Now these do not come with extra laces unfortunately but they're still very nice maybe putting the brown laces if you got some brown laces to match that i thought this was a white midsole but it's not i don't know if i don't have any laces in the other colorway besides maybe maybe i have some brown laces but lace swapping on this would definitely suffice i don't even know what to say man you let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below maybe this video right here if not my review can help you make a choice on grabbing the shoe or not uh, and if you don't like this LeBron 21 Aragonite, let me know what about it do you not like? Are you not a fan of the uh, denim upper? The sock liner is always on point. The colors that he used, you got the hint of like the new buck on the back tab of the shoe along with the tongue. They've been taking their time and, and, and putting their foot into the design. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of this. I went back to grab this uh, for one of the channel. Well, he's not a member, but he supports the channel. He was looking for this shoe. And I went back for that other shoe, but they didn't have a size 13. So luckily, we we're able to scoop this up. If you guys are looking for different items, go ahead and check out my website, BoscoesGoodies.com. I got hats, jerseys, shoes, and other things there to go ahead and check out, especially the hats and jerseys. I know we're in the NBA season, about to hit the second half of the season after the All-Star weekend. So if you need some memorabilia from the Lakers, Jazz, Suns, 
go ahead and check out my website, boscosmini.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think about the LeBron 21 Aragonite. And what do you guys feel like is his best colorway so far? Comment that down below. Until next time, we out. Deuces.